Shalom, brothers and sisters. So, coming back to SatanCon again. And yes, I, I might start sounding like I'm harping on this quite a bit. But <laughs> it's in our faces and this is a war. So, let's just touch on this one. The enemy is waging all-out war right in our faces. Ex-Satanist and ex-witch respond to this huge satanic gathering. In what's been described as a spiritual counter-offensive to SatanCon, revivalist Dr. James Sedaris, co-founder of Revive Boston, and his wife Pascal have scheduled a three-day revival in Boston on the same weekend. Brilliant. Well done. Christian services will be held at 7 p.m. nightly on April the 28th to the 30th at the Revere Hotel Boston Common, 200 Stewart Street, which is less than a mile from the Satan Con Convention. A street evangelism campaign is also being planned by Revive Boston. Now make no mistake, friends, this is an all-out war between the kingdom of Satan and the kingdom of God for the soul of America, Sidera said in a video trailer. Author and evangelist John Ramirez, a former occultist, gave CBN News some insight into the satanic group. They're being aggressive now, Ramirez said. They've always been vocal, but now they're being aggressive. It doesn't surprise me. The devil's telling them, amp up your game amp up your hearts, get aggressive. They know they've got a time frame to establish something that the devil has given them. And if they don't abide by the time frame that the devil gave them, they have to deal with the consequences spiritually. I know that because I was in that for 25 years. That's how the game is played. And that's what I keep saying. There's a time frame that they're working against to everything starting and kicking off. They're pushing extra hard because their time frame's almost up. Everything needs to begin shortly, this year. Then former Wiccan witch Jeannie Weaver, who's now a Christian worship artist and Bible teacher, warned in an email to CBS News that the enemy is no longer hiding. As someone who comes out of witchcraft and the demonic realm, I can say for sure the enemy is no longer hiding. What we are seeing is a massive spiritual battle and the enemy is waging an all-out war in our faces. I think he's overplayed this one because now Christians who have been silent on issues before are saying enough is enough. This is a showdown. And by all means, I mean, if I was living anywhere close to where SatanCon was happening, I wouldn't be a mile away. I'd be in front of SatanCon and engaging them at their event. Because why not? In your face, Satan. We're not afraid. Until we get snatched, we're going to make your life miserable. Keep praying for breakthroughs and keep praying for souls that need to be pulled away from darkness into his glorious light. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.